we got in the vehicle midway into the journey victoria begins to sing a song a new song takes out her phone hi i am confidence moses welcome to premium ninja tv Welcome back believers, I am Ebenezer Ekwenyong. If you are coming across our channel for the first time, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the bell icon. Please, very important, don't forget to comment on this video, which is very important to us. Tell us what you feel about this video after watching it. Guys, as a believer, as a Christian, as a genuine Christian, as someone who trusts in the Lord Jesus Christ as Savior, you know that if you have faith, anything is possible. Everything is possible. You know, if you speak, they say speak into existence and it will come to pass. If you open your mouth right now and say that in the next two weeks, I'm hoping to have maybe um, a good amount of money, you know, to, that will take care of your needs. It is very possible and it can happen. That's if you have faith. If you don't procrastinate or you don't say anything, then after prophesying that thing into your life. This is a video of Nathaniel Bassi, you know, telling us about how god used minister victoria orange's son to save his life i'm not surprised anyway i'm not surprised at all because i know the god that we are saving we are not saving a god that don't take care of his children you know if anything wants to happen if anything will happen god will will surely will he will reveal it to his children to his child as long as you are believing in him there's nothing strange in this life you just have to get closer to god and then if you have any problem you discuss it with him God is always there for you. God is always there to guide you through. God is always there to show you the right direction to follow. But the problem is that we don't want to listen. There is this inner man in us that tells us this thing will happen like this. It will happen like this. But most times we doubt. So guys, if you believe in Jesus Christ, if you know that he died for you and me, I don't see any reason why we should be doubting him. Once the inner man talks to us, of course, you know when the inner man ministers to us in one way or the other, there's something that there's a sign there's always a sign and then i don't think we should be doubting we shouldn't be doubting so guys nathaniel bassi explained in details what happened along calabar to road i believe from here you will learn something you get something to pick out of this testimony there are numerous reasons why you should keep trusting in god keep believing in god you know you don't have to let go of god for any reason he's the only one that can save you listen to this testimony of Nathaniel Bassi sharing how God used Minister Victoria Renzi's son to save his life. Not just his life, because there were many in that car. So this is a beautiful testimony that you will speak to you. This is a testimony that will minister to you. This is a testimony that is like song, a song that is full of biblical messages. Honestly, I was moved after watching this. So guys, listen to this testimony. Watch, and after that, don't forget to drop your comments. I say this every time that Victoria Renze is one of the few music ministers and ministers and, and of course I've got a number of them here that I can turn my back on and not suspect anything she's authentic she's not fake she's not fake and that's why you know, we've been siblings, spiritual siblings for years. Started playing the violin with me and traveling. Stayed in our house. I always share this story. Slept on the same bed. We're four of us for four years or so, three, four years. It was in that house she prayed for 40 days and 40 nights before she began this ministry. But I remember we're coming back from Calabar, 27th of August, my birthday. I hadn't married my wife then. A pastor and his wife called me and said they had a dream that I died. I mean, I get to hear those things every time. You know, but, you know, I mean, we don't despise prophesying, so I listen and if I sense that there is some intelligence in it, if it's a signal, we treat it, and if it's not, we discard it. But I woke up this morning, and the Spirit of the Lord impressed upon my heart to pray in the Spirit, giving thanks for one hour. We, we went to minister at the Brook Church, 
remember through church so i prayed in the spirit you better pray in the spirit though that that which pastor shola shared today is amazing he says i'll pray in the spirit pray in tongues and i'll pray in my understanding also so the the understanding is the also part not the tongues part because when we pray in tongues, we, 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 we experience downloads. He that speaking in unknown tongues, speaking not unto men, but unto God, for no man understanding him, how be it in the spirit, he speaks mysteries, divine secrets. So I just prayed in tongues and gave thanks. And then we hired a, a bus. And then I felt impressed upon my heart to tell the driver, I said, driver, please, this trip, don't speed. So when I said to him, don't speed, he just looked away from me like, what was he saying? I said, Oga, Oga, I beg, this one, this one, no speed. Then he just said, I beg, if you go, go, I mean, you go, go. I said, just hear what they tell you. We got in the vehicle. Midway into the journey, Victoria begins to sing a song, a new song, takes out her phone and begins to sing and chant in the spirit, you know, and I knew by the Spirit of God that that was a song of deliverance. You are my hiding place and you surround me with songs of deliverance. There is such a thing as a song of deliverance. God sends you a song to administer deliverance. And the way it is done is you have to sing it through until you sense the release. I know how that operation works. So she kept singing it and I, it bore witness in my spirit that there was something coming. We're climbing that, if you know the Calabar Itu Road, very dangerous. A, a, a fuel tanker, the biggest size, laden with fuel, was rolling from the, from the road, had already crushed a human being, and was headed for us. Now, how a small bus will stop? George was there. George, were you there? It's George here. George was the one who played people. We came out from a fuel laden tanker, unscratched, unhurt, and it was on my birthday. Please don't clap. The reason why I share that is because I've, I've been blessed by her ministry. So God gave her an instrument. So sometimes we don't just sing songs. That's why I sang here with Sabah here. That's how God saved us. And we've been through, you know, hell and high water together. But see what God has done. I just want to sing this song and then I'll begin to minister to her in the song. Hi guys, so after listening to that soul lifting, soul touching testimony, what do you have to say? Drop it in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to Premium Niger TV. And very important, don't forget to share this video with your friends. Copy the link and share with your friends on WhatsApp and other social media platforms. God bless you.